I'm so excited to do this video. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. So welcome back to my series of videos. This video is going to be about my quick study strategies. Um, so my videos and my channel is all about me documenting different parts of my life, different strategies that I have realized have worked or ideas that I've had in the past or things that I've gone through in the past. It helps me build a record of how I think, who I am, and I really do believe I'm genuinely a very beautiful human being and I get to see myself grow and get to know me better. So that's why I do these videos. Now, this video is particularly um, exciting to me because it's it's an area that I have realized over my many years of study um, and when I say study more often than not I have been studying while I've been working and doing many other things <laughs> all which maybe you'll start to know if you continue watching the videos but hey um, so uh, limitations on this quick study video let me just say that the study that I have realized works well or is applicable to persons who are doing like final prep, final prep for examinations, yeah, and self-study and also good for people who work and study. So these are what I found out. <laughs> um, first of all, I think that you absolutely must learn and absorb knowledge for the long term. Your aim and the greater vision should always be to be the authority on the subject or the topic. This means that you're not just particularly studying for an exam, you're not studying for a particular course or a certificate, but you want to be the authority on that subject. And I think when you have that as your main vision and your main goal, then you will be able to hit certain other academic milestones on the way. And when I say that, I do not believe that you have to be in a PhD program or you have to be on a particular point of the standard academic journey to begin to think like this. You should have your vision from doesn't matter what age. If you decide you want to know a particular area, go for it. There are too many resources that are available to you for you not to say, you know what, no. Go after it and go after every source and gather your information and become the authority on the subject. Now, um, in the meantime, uh, I think you should focus on maxing out your visual aids. If you're working on a, working on a particular exam, um, I think visual aids are very important. Um, you should also max out your memory and repetition max that your capacity for that max it right out um, and then finally you should audibly rehearse your information so that means that now that's going to help short term for doing a particular presentation but again if you want to have that long-term vision do do audible or audio presentations for yourself in your room to a few people do that continuously over whatever subject area it is and you will see that you will be able to achieve and digest a lot more of the information in that topic which will be relevant for the end goal of becoming an authority in the area okay um so let me show you some of my visual representations so especially for like final exam prep I found like literally I have had worksheets you you in final exam you already in some cases you know what areas are going to come on your exam, you would definitely already know the scope of your research or your project or your area, and you would have pulled your sources together. So you have a lot of information, but it's about condensing all the notes that you've taken before into a form that you know you can provide along with whatever the marking scheme is, whatever your topics are, whatever your exam requirements are, to be able to meet those requirements and get the highest marks, always. So, I condense my notes 
and I, I've looked at some other videos and people condense, I condense my notes. So you can have like, I tried to get as close to one topic on a page. It was a fellow student of mine and she said, oh, I do quadrants. And I was like, what is quadrants? And when she showed me, I was like, yes, that's exactly what I want to do. Because even physically turning a page in my book, in my notes, kind of disturbs my visual aids and my, my visual memory, if you will. And by having, in, in, having my notes in quadrants, I'm able to visually remember, okay, if I'm attacking this question, I want to go from this area to that area to that area. And then also, when you're trying to make sure you haven't forgotten any... Um, areas or, or or in my study of law cases or authorities you can always remember how you've grouped them based on which quadrant they are in and so then that will make it easier you can easily go back after you finish a question okay have I covered have I covered have I covered have I covered right so visual aids and max that out again this is try and do as much as you can if you don't if you don't master everything that's okay at least you would have mastered a whole lot if you plan to master in the first place all right and then we have um, memory and repetition so from these quadrants the visual aids I would say move on to memory and repetition so for me especially this is applicable for work work study people or people who are just very busy and this is this is a part of um let's say like a, a professional points program or something like that um you are engaging yourself in other business and so it's great to be able to walk around with not just um cue cards because that gets that's lengthy but um these condensed notes and you just memorize Memorize, memorize, pushing like you're an actor doing your script. It will come in handy. It honestly will. And then thirdly, the audible revision. Practice those presentations, uh, which means in the mirror. So the same way you would do, let's say, um, you get up and you do confirmations or affirmations in front of the mirror about yourself and where you're going and what you plan to achieve uh, especially around areas times where you have to digest a lot of information for deadlines use that same technique because the confidence that you build will help you yes one in presentations but two to order your thoughts because as you're using your mouth your your thoughts have to be um, they have to be hmm, they have to be clear enough in order for you to be forming each individual sentence and when you can master that then when it comes to writing it it can come straight out you want that complete flow so um, I'm gonna put some links below for uh, some websites that I thought were very um, beneficial in my study of law there's some there's some websites that allow you to basically condense your own notes and put it into quizzes so you can quiz yourself on your notes beforehand. Um, and then there's, they're, they're just, check the links. These are relevant just to law, but in terms of how I have understood my study and just some of the practices that I do, I just find they are applicable across the board because I have studied many things. And they're just applicable for a person who wants to be an authority on the subject area. So again, use your visual aids, max out your memory and repetition skills, and then also work on that, that audible for your presentations, your audible rehearsing. So rehearse, rehearse, rehearse. Yeah, that's what I found out. That's why it's what I'm so excited to share because it's just a beautiful method to make you a better human being, a better person, an authority, an authority over whatever subject area you so desire. Thank you very much for listening. Bye.